Okay, so perfect squares actually refer to shapes, um, squares. And notice over here, the first perfect square, if you had like a building block, is just the number one. One's a perfect square. You have one block that is in the shape of a square, then you have a square. The next perfect square is if you had four building blocks. You would have the next perfect square. Put four of them together, one, two, three, four, and you have a bigger perfect square. The next perfect square is nine. Because if you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks, you could build a huge square. These are called perfect squares. How do we find them? Well, another way of thinking about them other than the shape and drawing these out is to just multiply. Take the first county number, one, and then multiply it by itself. One times one is one, which is the first county number. Excuse me, the first square number. The next perfect square is just two times two which is 4. The next perfect square is 3 times 3, which is 9. Now perfect squares are really important because they have really nice roots. For example, the square root of 9 is 3. And that goes back to what we said before. Because 3 times 3 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. What does it mean when you say the square root of 9? Well, same thing as the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is saying, what number times itself is 4? That's 2. 2 times itself is 4. So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 1 is just 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. How else can you think about roots and squares? Well, the square root of a number is the length of the side of the square. So the square root of 1 is 1, because each side is 1. The square root of 4 is 2 because each side of the square is 2. The square root of 9 is 3 because each side of the square is 3. Now, why isn't 3 a perfect square? 3 is not a perfect square. Well, it's not a perfect square for the same reasons that 5 and 6 are not perfect squares. Because, well, for one, you can't really build a perfect square. If you had three blocks, you could build a rectangle. That's not a perfect square. You could put two together and then one on the side, but that's not a perfect square. In fact, there's no way to take these three blocks and build a perfect square, which also means that the square root of three has a decimal answer. It's an irrational decimal. So that's the idea between non-perfect squares so how many perfect squares are we here to think about? Well, we said that 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 is the first perfect square. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 4 perfect squares, 1, 4, 9, 16. Um, I would like you to think about all the perfect squares all the way up to 15 times 15, which is 225 you should be able to recognize perfect squares from 1 all the way through 225. So for example, if you were given the square root of 225, you would know that that is 15. When I ask you for the square root of 225, I'm asking you for what number times itself gives you 225, and that's 15. This can become an important resource to learn all the numbers, perfect squares between 1 and 225. Because then I might ask you to recognize, well, what about the square root of 226? You would know that this is some decimal, a rational decimal, that's a little bit above 15. Why? Because you know the perfect square of 225 is exactly 15, the square root of 225. That's the idea.